It is safe to say that NDP leader Jagmeet Singh is one of the most annoying people in Canadian politics, and today I am happy to see Pierre Paglia blasting him for his massive hypocrisy on the issue of Justin Trudeau's government. Jagmeet Singh loves to play this stupid inside-outside game pretending he's not actually doing it. Every day, he goes and rattles Justin Trudeau's cage saying, I'm coming for you. I'm going to collapse your government and fight back against corporate greed and CEOs. And then he doesn't do anything. Jagmeet Singh just sits at the side of the road and yells, why won't someone do something about Justin Trudeau? At the same time, he's not doing anything himself. He'll attend a protest. He'll do something to show Justin Trudeau how serious it is and then not actually do anything. It's what I call a strike oppose populist. Jagmeet Singh wants to show up, put his fist in the air and act tough, but not actually do anything. Obviously, I also don't like him because I'm a conservative, but, you know, I at least can admire effective politicking by different parties and different leaders, even if they are not somebody I would ever think of voting for. Jack Layton wasn't this pathetic. Frankly, even David Eby in British Columbia isn't this pathetic. Jagmeet Singh just has absolutely nothing past being basically a male version of AOC in Canada. Here he says, no matter how hard Canadians work, it's almost impossible to get a break right now. At the exact same time, wealthy CEOs get richer every day and conservatives would give them even more. Give them even more? What are you talking about? That's their money that the government potentially might tax less. That's not giving them any more of anything. That's simply them keeping more of what they earned. And he says, I'm fighting to change that. This is this is why I'm going to have to play right now the Margaret Thatcher clip of her calling out labor towards the end of her tenure of not actually caring about poor people, just hating rich people. What the honorable member is saying is that he would rather the poor were poorer, provided the rich were less rich. That way you will never create the wealth for better social services as we have. And what a policy. Yes, he would rather have the poor poorer, provided the rich were less rich. That is a liberal policy. Yes, it came out. He didn't intend it to. You know, couldn't say it any better myself. And that's... And like the thing is, like, what what is Jagmeet Singh actually offering here? He says, no matter how hard Canadians work, it's also impossible to get a break right now. Well, why is it because the liberals and the greedy and the greedy CEOs and conservatives are colluding, or is it because taxes are too high? In part because you and Justin kept them so high. And again, remember, he's been involved in all of this. Here's something he posted today that really set it all off, and what and what Pierre Polly eventually responded to. He let you down. Justin Trudeau said he'd, do, he'd uh, do one thing. He did the exact opposite. Workers are the backbone of our country. You deserve a government that respects you for real. And it's a post that he has links saying, Justin Trudeau says, uh, the fact is unions are vital to promoting, protecting our middle class. Canadians deserve a government that works with unions instead of attacking them. Sorry, is Jagmeet Singh's actual contention? And I'm not here to defend Justin Trudeau. If anything, Justin Trudeau is a complete pushover. And in a case like the Canadian Postal Workers Union going on strike, Justin Trudeau is probably going to give them most of what they want. But is the idea from Jagmeet Singh that we are all supposed to become trade unionists and just give the economy over to unions? That's actually what trade unionism means, not just being in favor of unions. That's what Jagmeet Singh seems to mean. And if that's what he means, why doesn't he just say it? Well, if he says it, then everyone's going to rightfully conclude he's absolutely insane and not vote for the guy. That's the problem, is that Jagmeet Singh won't even live up to his own radical rhetoric on these specific issues. He kind of just, again, strikes a vague pose and then moves on. Here is a great video uh, just of his own from his own campaign that I find just demonstrates the general aesthetic emptiness of Jagmeet Singh. He says, day and night, Canadians work hard to provide for their families and build a good life, but the CEO class is rate, rate, uh, raking in record profits while everyone else is paying more and more. They are not. They are not taking record profits. Their revenues are record revenues because obviously, generally, companies grow over time, and inflation has also heavily inflated their revenues. 
because now things cost more because it also the, each dollar is not worth as much. But here, here's Jagmeet Singh. You work hard to build a good life for yourself and your family. I believe it's our responsibility to make that a little easier, like taking the tax off of everyday essentials and monthly bills. That means lower cell phone, internet, and home heating bills. That means you pay less for diapers, children's clothing, and grab and go food at the grocery store. No government should nickel and dime you on the basics. You can count on me and the NDP to always put people first. So where's the income tax cut? Where's you forcing Trudeau's hand on any of this stuff? Think about it. Why doesn't Jagmeet Singh, if he was had a political instinct in his entire body, say, I will collapse the government unless you remove tax on these specific items? Well, he doesn't really care to reduce taxes. I, I like that in that montage. One of the places he's at is like a organic grocery store. Does Is he mad that they probably have way higher profit margins than, you know, Metro or Loblaws or wherever else? Nah, not really. Because that's not really Jagmeet Singh's concern. But here's here's uh, Pure Polly of absolutely blasting uh, Jagmeet Singh today for just the brutal hypocrisy. And he says, Pure Polly says, how to understand the repetitive cycle of Jagmeet Singh selling out to support Trudeau so he can secure his pension. The NDP liberals need to go. And then it's just a petition, but the, it's mostly about the graphic. Obviously, people are always data mining all the time. How the NDP works. Vote to keep Trudeau in power. Threaten to vote Trudeau out. Back down to Trudeau. I would actually disagree with Polly up here. He doesn't even really threaten to vote Trudeau out. He doesn't. Every time somebody asks, are you actually going to vote against him? He's like, well, no, because conservatives would be worse. He can't define worse because he can't define exactly what the liberals are really doing wrong right now. Since he was involved with them the entire time, he was the one who was propping them up. Uh, and he was the one helping pass legislation. But this is pure poly of responding to the exact post that Jagmeet Singh put out the other day, the one where he says, he let you down. And Pierre Polly said, you let him do it. Stop propping up the liberals. Put the people before your pension. And that's something that actually happened recently. J Jagmeet Singh's already going to get his pension before the next election. Uh, but the election date was going to prevent a bunch of NDP MPs from getting their pensions. Jagmeet got elected in the middle of the year 2019, so he'll get his pension sometime around like May or June of 2025. But if Jagmeet Singh, his main concern is helping Canadians, his main concern is the poor, and he wants to go after rich CEOs and reduce taxes on specific basic necessities, where is Jagmeet Singh fighting for that with the Liberals? He's taking back her meetings to fight to move the date of the election so that people can get their pensions. But, you know, where is the quality of life for anyone else? And that's really where the NDP has always been a fake party from the perspective of they like populist rhetoric around attacking the rich because apparently you're bad if you've made any money. But they never actually follow through because it's just a big government party. It's just a, a party around maximizing like government power, including the personal power politicians and their personal wealth. Jagmeet Singh and the NDP are government lifers for the most part in terms of their like careers, in terms of just their attitudes towards government. It is that people should get in government, have a job for life, and then get a massive pension. They don't care that CEOs have money. They they just don't they just don't like that CEOs have that money and they don't have that money. They don't care if poor people get the money or not. And you can see it through Jagmeet Singh's actions. He does not actually fight to lower taxes for basic for basic necessities. He sometimes says something about the car, consumer carbon tax being bad, but then wants to bring in an industrial carbon tax anyways that would auto automatically replace it and still cost everyone about the exact same amount of money. Anyways, that should be it for me today, guys. If you want to support the show, you can donate to the Give, Send, Go legal fund in the description and into the top of the comments. And also, yeah, I'm going to encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Like this video. Do all that great stuff. I will be back later with another video either today or I will be putting out my long-form interview with Belinda Carajalios from the New Blue Party of Ontario either sometimes later today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday. It's a good conversation. If you guys are in Ontario, I do encourage you check out the new blue party, maybe join it. The Doug Ford PCs are utterly abysmal.
Anyways, see you guys later.